and welcome back to my channel. I'm Justice and you're at The Pink Herring. So today we are going to be doing an Ipsy bag. Uh, and I have not received an Ipsy bag in a little over three years. So um, I stopped using an Ipsy bag um, because I was getting the same products and I've decided to try it again and the new packaging is adorable. But before we hop into the video, if you like uh, plus size fashion, beauty, wellness, and occasional DIYs, stick with me and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notifications when I post videos. But let's jump in to the Ipsy bag. So again, I have not received an Ipsy bag in a little over three years. So um, I was receiving it um, for a while. I, I think I was actually receiving it for, I wanna say I probably was receiving it for four to five years. Um, my mom and I both were. Um, and I actually was receiving the same items over and over and over again. I wasn't really impressed with the items I was receiving. And so we both decided to cancel. And so I decided to go ahead and start and um, and get another Ipsy bag. I felt like I was needing some additional fun items. Um, and so I thought, why not start with the Ipsy? This is just the, um, I, I, I have to double check what the name of it, but I guess the basic um, bag that you receive. I believe this is for February. Uh, I just received it a couple of days ago. And I haven't opened it yet. So this was the basic one, and I believe it's $12 now. Is it $12? I'll, I'll put it down here in the video. Um, I believe, though, whenever I was getting it quite some time ago, it was, was it 10 Was it $10? So let's go ahead and jump in and see what we have received. We do have this really cute velvet bag with the purple zipper. Um, I'm really excited to try it. The, um, the bag seems a little bit smaller. I'm trying to think of the other ones I have. The bag seems a little bit smaller than the, my other Ipsy bags. Maybe I'm making that up. Let me grab some. So a fun tip is if you have a lot of extra Ipsy bags, you can actually um, use them for storage <laughs> um, or whatever else you want to use them for. Another great thing that you can do is um, I take my old Ipsy bags, which these are all old Ipsy's. This one's really fun. This one was pretty big. Um, this was an Ipsy. So I guess they're about the same size. This one is, seems a little smaller than all the others, but maybe I'm just making that up. Maybe no, they're about the same size. I actually um, pack these little Ipsy bags up with feminine products. Um, I do some razors, shampoo, conditioner, um, a lot of shampoo and conditioner that I get from hotels or that I get in samples or I get in like, if you spend so much at Ulta, you get, um, you know, 15 piece goodie set or whatever but I actually put shampoo conditioner um, feminine products um, sanitary pads things like that in these bags and then um, I keep a stash in my car so if I see somebody um, maybe somebody who is homeless or someone who is in need I give them one of these bags um, it's not much but hey it helps them out and um, I've People have, you know, in the community who have needed these, who have gotten these from me, say that they're a great help because sanitary pads or um, feminine products like that are the last thing that they really need to spend money on, or I guess rather not need, but can spend money on. There's food and shelter and things like that that they'd rather spend their money on. So if you have extra bags lying around and just want to throw a couple together, and you can, if you don't want to drop them off to people, you can make up a bunch of these packs and then take them to your local shelter. Um, they'll take them off your hands for you and they'll distribute them to those in need. Um, so that is something that you could do. So back to the Ipsy bag. <laughs> um, so this is a super cute bag. Um, we're going to see if after three years they've decided to kind of up the ante and bring us some great products. And like I said, if I really enjoy the small bags again, I will probably get the bigger one. Um, and I did notice that there are items that you can get add-ons for. Um, are extremely better than what I what they were three years ago. So um, they were like substantial items, which is pretty cool. So let's dig in. So the first item I see here is Skylar Hydrating Body Lotion with Hydrolonic. Mm, I'm going to butcher that. Hydrolonic. Someone correct me. 
acid. Uh, this is in the scent Capri, which is sparkling, citrus, and sweet. No parabens, no sulfates. Um, and let's see, it's one fluid ounce, clean, hypoallergenic, cruelty free. So let's smell it. I bet it has a seal. <laughs> I'm like, I smell nothing. <laughs> This, this scent is wonderful. It's just a white cream base. The scent is wonderful. It's very clean, refreshing, and light. Um, almost like a, um, either a suntan lotion or even, um, no, it's like a suntan lotion or, or a conditioner. That's kind of the scent very smooth and very soft though. I will say one reason why I quit um, getting the Ipsy bag previously was because I was getting a lot of lotions and I don't know if you can see the things behind me. That white basket, that pink basket, they're full of lotions. Um, I get lotions in a lot of different places like through samples and things like that and then I also buy my own lotions. I like particular ones and those are all full of lotions. <laughs> Um, and so really lotions aren't something that I need. I do like little travel ones like this so I can plop it in the purse or keep it at my office at work. So the next thing I see here is K Voss, um, fairy dust pressed highlighter. What it is. Uh, this enhanced highlighter features unparalleled shades that cater to all skin tones with an ultra buttery texture that melts in his skin for the ultimate high impact glow. The one of a kind formula is enriched with artichoke leaf extract and evening prime rose, primrose oil in shades that adjust to your skin's undertones and ampl amplify your natural radiance. I cannot speak today. I, at my job at work is to talk <laughs> and sometimes by the end of the day I can't talk and I'm filming this after work. Um, unlike traditional pressed powders, this unique formula blends pigment, pigments, pigments with oregano, rosemary, and lavender extracts, creating a creamy feel that applies seamlessly and never cakes. Inspired by the dazzling light of the moon and the stars, the result is a high-impact, elegant finish that doesn't look glittery. Very long explanation there. Um, but K. Voss, um, those who have been receiving Ipsy for a while may have heard or known of this brand. Maybe I live under a rock, but, um, I've never used this brand, um, uh, myself. Um, so it does have a mirror. Mirrors are always nice. Uh, and then here is the shade. If you can see it, it's very, it's very, um, white colored, which is good on my skin tone. Um, I'm naturally fair. Can you guys see that? It's I'm naturally fair. It's very light. So this almost seems like a natural, more natural bronzer when you would put, apply it on the face. That's going to come off a little more natural. You know, this reminds me of in color um, as the, I have a Tarte highlighter. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so I found this highlighter. Um, this, the way that the highlighter, this K Voss highlighter comes onto the skin is nothing to compare to the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Can you guys see that? Um, highlighters. I'm going to open this gingerly because I have dropped it so many times. Uh, it was just a little sample and you, there's really nothing in there for you guys to see anymore. But this color is very, very similar to this K Voss. Um, this Tarte uh, highlighter is one of my all-time favorites. The pigment that it has is just out of this world. Let me try to show you both of these. So here is that Amazonian clay and here is that that new one. Do you guys see those? Very similar. This one almost has a little bit more of a pink undertone. This one was or a purple and this was more peach. But very similar. This one was warmer. This was a little bit cooler. Very similar in color. This one just personally has more pay, um, 
more color to it um, when you put it on the skin. And I, I, I love this one. And this color, by the way, is in Stunner. So this is one of their 12-hour highlights, Tarte's 12-hour highlights in the color Stunner. So this is one of my favorites, and that's why it is all destroyed. Next in the bag, Scone is the brand. Insanely Intense Tattooed Mini Waterproof Liner in Jet Black. Um, so that's this product here. So maybe this is just me too, being super picky. I hate when products come with plastic on them. Um, and I know that it's also safe for travel this way. Um, so they don't, you know, get bumped around, I guess, and come apart and then get destroyed. But for some reason, it just cheapens it for me. Ulta does that. If you order Ulta products online, um, they send all of their items in plastic packaging. Um, I don't like that. I don't know what it is, but I don't like that. So this waterproof, oh, so it is a, um, it is a felt tip. Oh, guys, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I typically uh, use, I really like the size of that, and this isn't a mini. I love pointed tips and I love the felt. They are my favorite. So I'm very, very excited to try this out and see how it goes. Okay, we have two more items. We have, oh, the brand The Balm. So Auto Balm Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go, and it is a blush. Uh, it almost matches the colors in my shirt. Uh, so here is that shade for you all. This is, is it the color Houston? Houston. I think it's called Houston. If you could tell from the right there, I think it's Houston. Um, I love blushes. I wear blush religiously. I it, I can't go to the house without a blush. And I like the balm products. I really do. So there is that that color. I notice that the balm powders are a little more powdery than some others. But I really like that. I like the color. It's very springy. Uh, and I like that because I've been wearing some more mauvey tones, some darker tones, berry tones for winter and I'm ready to introduce these spring tones. Okay, and last but not least, oh, we have a matte lit by Colored Rain. Matte lit paint 24-7. Oh, I'm sorry, I think the color is 24-7. And here is the color. It looks really dark on camera, but it doesn't look that dark here. It looks berry in the camera, but it's more of, well, let me just swatch it. Okay, well maybe it is more berry. It didn't look that dark, but here it is. Can you guys see that? I'll actually just go ahead and put it on because I came home from work. I didn't put any Any lipstick on? So let's just do it. Here is 24-7 by Colored Rain. So far it's like a really creamy matte and I'm looking at my hand and it hasn't dried yet. My lips are pretty dry. So maybe I just had a little extra on here. Okay guys, so let's review. This was the first Ipsy bag that I've had in over three years. So let's kind of go over the items and my opinion from three years ago to now. I appreciate the full size items and even this um, eyeliner that is a mini but and maybe doesn't have as much liquid in it but it's very comparable. So I really appreciate having full size items. I had gotten to where I was just getting these little um, the balm eyeshadows and they were like this little big and I was just getting those and I was just tired of all these little samples these little items so I really do appreciate getting full size items I would have to does everybody get the same thing in their bag they don't oh the eyeliner uh, fell <laughs> let's save the eyeliner so the lid doesn't want to stay on maybe that's why they had the plastic around it I'm excited to see if I 
still continue to get products that seem to be of decent size and value or if it starts um, waning a little bit. But again, I haven't been here for three years, so maybe all of the products are like this and I've just been messing out. But I might do a bigger box later down the road. So those are my items that I received in the first bag of after the last three years. I will update you guys on my second bag, see if it has as great of products. Um, and if anybody would like to also subscribe to Ipsy, I will go ahead and attach my link below. And I think we both get credit or something, or I get a free product, something along those lines. Um, we both get a gift or something like that. Uh, for you signing up. So thanks so much for tuning in and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit this like video if you liked the content and we will see you next time. See you later.